Hi guys, welcome to my affordable watch collection. My name is Aviv and today we are going to take a look at a watch that for just under 100 bucks has a lot more to offer than just a silly random name. The Lux Denton LD9107 Piaget Polo Homage. Lux Denton is apparently some kind of a Pagani Design sister brand and just like Pagani Design seems to specialize in making homage watches. You can find it on AliExpress for around 94 to 99 US dollars and 99 cents when it's not on sale and it comes in black, blue or green colorways. I bought mine from the Guanchin official store. I leave a link for you in the description of this video. Here is a quick look at what you get with the watch so you'll know what to expect. The watch comes in a simple cardboard box, embossed in gold on the lid. Inside you'll find a branded microfiber cleaning cloth, a hard plastic international guarantee card, and a user manual. And here are the measurements. The width of the case is 41 mm, its thickness is a touch under 11 mm, the distance between the lugs is 20 mm, Lug tip to lug tip is 45 and a half. And on the supplied leather strap, the watch weighs 78 grams. Lex Denton marked this watch as being 100 meters water resistant, which is pretty good for a sporty dress watch like this one. The dial is a beautiful shade of blue with a horizontal stripes pattern going across its center and even a sunburst effect. The edge of the dial is where the pattern stops, giving a nice play of textures. There's also a white printed mini track with Arabic numerals every 5 minutes. After that we have a set of wedge shaped applied indices, highly polished and filled with loom. The 6 o'clock indice is shortened, making room for a date complication window, surrounded by an applied, highly polished metal frame. The date wheel itself is white with black numbers. The striped pattern stops again where the brand's name and logo are printed in white under the 12 o'clock marker and above the 6 o'clock marker where we find only one word printed in white again, automatic. The watch sports a set of alpha or lens style hour and minute hands. These two are polished and filled with loom on their centers. The second hand is needle shaped with a diamond shaped eye of the needle tip on the counterbalance. The loom is satisfactory if not spectacular, exactly what you can and should expect on a watch costing 100 bucks or less. It gives out a strong initial green glow, nice and evenly distributed, that will not last for a very long time. The crystal material here is synthetic sapphire with no anti-reflective coating, which is good to have on any watch at this price point. The case is made of stainless steel and features a very interesting mixture of finishes. The top of the wide fixed bezel is flat and has sort of a horizontal frosted brushing and a high polish on the double beveled edge. The bezel does feature an interesting shape round on the outside and tonu shaped on the inside. The tops of the lugs are polished as well. The sides of the case are finely brushed and as you can see the lugs curve down nicely to meet the wrist. The crown at the 3 o'clock position is a push-pull crown signed with the Lux Denton shield. Twist it up to hand wind the movement Pull it out one click and twist down to operate the quick set date function. Pull it all the way out to set the time. Notice how the seconds hand keeps sweeping in this position. This movement does not feature hacking. Round the back we have a screw down exhibition case back with a mineral glass. Lux Denton Watch Co. Water resistant 10 bar. Some random letters. The model reference number and stainless steel are very simply laser etched on the stainless steel ring. 
This is another Miyota 8215 powered watch. Remember I said we are going to see more and more of those? It has 21 joules and it beats at 21,600 beats per hour. It features a date complication and 40 hours of power reserve. Hand winding, but no hacking. The stated accuracy coming out of Citizen's Miyota factory is between minus 20 to plus 40 seconds per day. It is a veteran automatic movement originating in the 1970s and is considered to be reliable and robust. It does feel a bit more grindy than the NH35 if you are used to those. So if you do feel that, don't be alarmed, there's nothing wrong with your watch. The watch comes on a color matched blue strap, marked as genuine leather, with an embossed faux alligator pattern. It is padded on top and does smell suspiciously synthetic. Maybe just the bottom part is actually leather, I don't know. It comes equipped with a milled, stainless steel fold-over deployant clasp, which is a great choice for this watch in my opinion. The way it works is that you latch it onto one of the holes and just click it close and put it through the keepers. Very easy and very convenient. It is completely polished and has the brand's logo laser engraved on top and an easy to use double pusher security system. And it does look gorgeous on wrist, don't you think? I think the size is good for my 7 inch wrist and it's definitely sleek and slim. The leather strap is not very comfortable I have to admit and I'm not a big fan of the faux alligator look. You might want to think about changing it to some nicer blue strap or maybe it will get less stiff with time and wear. I think this could be a unisex watch, the kind that will look just as great on a woman's wrist. Legibility is pretty good, the loom field hands contrast pretty well against the darker dial and I believe that's the case across all three colorways. If you want to have some fun with it, I think it looks great on brown leather straps and maybe even some metal bracelets too. Let's go over the pros and cons now, as I see them. Starting with the cons, the first thing will have to be the leather strap. It looks nice and it fits the watch well, but in terms of quality, they could probably have done better. They could also have done better with the design on the case back. It just looks bland and uninspired. And I do like a nice case back. The loom could be better too, but I can't really fault them for it at this price point. Then there's the seemingly random name. Lex Danton. What does it even mean? I know a lot of us will refrain from wearing a watch with a silly name like this one slapped on the dial. On the pro side today, I really do think it's a very good looking watch. It looks way more expensive than it really is with the nice finishing of the case and it will look great on both men and women. It looks somewhat luxurious and definitely very elegant in my opinion. I love the color of the dial. I do like the texture and the irregular shape of the dial and the bezel. I think it gives a nice effect when it's on your wrist. We've got to give it to Lex Denton for nailing the value proposition too. A sapphire crystal, a stainless steel case and a Japanese automatic movement for around 100 bucks is good value to me, but I would definitely wait for it to be on sale to get an even better deal. Tell me what you guys think of this Piaget Polo homage by dropping a comment below. If you want to check it out for yourselves and maybe even picking one up, I will leave a link for you in the description of this video. Do note that this is an affiliate link that will not cost you any extra money, but will help the channel keep going with a small commission. So thanks in advance if you do decide to use it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my affordable watch collection and hit the notification bell for more affordable watches related content. You can also follow me on Instagram and get to know me and my collection a little bit better. 
get all the news about the channel and connect with me on a more personal level. If you're looking for a nice blue dialed watch, here is a quick link to one of my favorite budget-friendly blue watches of all time, the Casio Enticer MTP1370. Check this one out next. I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you next time.